really fascinating that uh, China, it, Dongle worked in China. I had no idea about yeah, that. Yeah, yeah. You did. How about our movies? Did our movies, have our movies ever made a crossover? See, to Open day? Not yet. We are still on uh, on the way, I guess. And one day in a few couple of year, years or b- by the decade, we might be. But the point is, it's not just about the storyline, but we un- need to understand. A guy and a girl falls in love in Butwal. Who I am living in Dallas. Why the fuck I give a shit about two guy, a ma- guy and a girl falling in love in Butwal? Does it make any sense to me? It doesn't make any sense to me. Right? So is like in Iran, someone is uh, climbing mountain with a blackboard just to like uh, give a kids like things. Education. Education. So, okay, why I will be interested is because once I know the history of Iran or Iraq, saying like, okay, they've been through many civil wars and there's still things are going on and then it's very chaotic and lots of like world politics has been has been played through one way or another and so many other things. So we are, and they're Muslims and they're like, we are familiar with so many other cultural things in them. So that becomes the backdrop of the story. And now it becomes more interesting. Why you think caravan worked? Caravan worked is not just because like the story of the old like village and then like the uh, how hard it was for them to survive in in, mm. in the time of like when there was no food and things like that. But a village, a mountain village that has this amount of people and the every year they trade salt with the food, or things like that, or money. But where? in the Everest, in the Mount Everest village. Now, even if I'm not familiar with the storyline, I am still very much known about the fact of existence of Everest, Mount Everest. So it doesn't matter where I am. So I'll still be interested to know about the Mount Everest village. So backdrop is is very important. Hmm. So Dongal had a backdrop of daughters. You know, Bahubali, even even if it's worked, it had a history as a backdrop. Hmm. Back old days, costumes, production values, and all these things. So w- my point is, it doesn't have to be big, but we need to have something to sell it in the world. What do you think of uh, Nimstai's uh, movie, 14 Peaks? Yeah. I mean, what is the best and the most biggest backdrop in the history of documentary? is 14 pigs itself. So people might, might not knew names back then, but then they knew about at least one or two pigs, or somebody knew about 14 pigs, or somebody knew about like five pigs. So there was something for international audience. Whereas like if we are releasing our cinema, yeah. now which we do, then what is there for international audience? Just wearing Dhaka Topi and Daura Solo is not enough. If you love what we are doing, make sure that you subscribe and turn on notifications. Thank you very much for watching us on YouTube. Make sure that you also listen to us on Spotify. This program is brought to you by Vyas Studios.